Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today's Monday, March 18th, 2024. Now let's go to Word of the Week with our members. We have a lot of work this week. Do you think we'll have time for the teacher's project? There's not a lot of time. Yeah, but we shouldn't let these time constraints stop us. Okay. Jesus seems like we have something due every other day and have no time to do anything. And we also have to do our projects. These time constraints are tough. You're right, but I'm almost done with my work, so I'll probably start maybe tomorrow. What about you? I have a bit more to do, but I'll get started. Let's get this done on time. Like you said, we won't let these deadlines stop us. Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to have a presentation. Up first is going to be Hadassah and Elia. So this is the end of our presentation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, great job, guys. You guys did a great job on the presentation. Yes, we finally got it done. We don't have to stress about these constraints anymore. Awesome new word. Now let's go to Catherine for Today in History. Thank you, Elia. Hey, Patriots. Today in history on March 18, 1906, the first monoplane made a flight of 12 meters. Inventor Trahan Vua designed, built, and tested the first tracker monoplane. A monoplane is a type of plane in which its wings are made out of paper, and the rest is made out of steel tubing. By building his plane, he inspired Louis Blairot to build his own plane that he flew 40 feet in the air across the English Channel. Two years later, unlike the airplanes we use to travel to different places that have a bunch of seats. Next time, if you want to have an adventure, try flying on a monoplane. Now let's go to Kalia for today's tasty lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is chicken tenders, turkey and deluxe hoagie, potato wedges, cucumber, mandarin oranges, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is bagel, cream cheese, assorted jelly, frosted cornflakes, graham crackers, fresh orange, and 100% orange juice. Students, please know that the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Elia. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds scrumptious. Tomorrow, third and fourth graders will have their chance to go to the Patriot store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times when there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Tomorrow is our Patriot of the Month ceremony. Congrats to all the scholars that got in. Go little rock star! Thursday is an early release day. The best part is that spring break is after, meaning we don't have to go to school for a whole two weeks. But make sure to study because when we return, testing will also join us. There's a game show called Name That Tune featured on RPTV. To be on the game show, there are a few qualifications that you need. Number one, you need to be in third through eighth grade. And number two, if you want to join, they sign up at room 200, also known as the Patriot Store. I can't wait to see you all up there with me. Now let's go to Camila for today's weather. Thank you, Elia. 
Surf's up, Patriots. Today's weather is 89 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. So, no beast today, Patriots. In other weather news, shrinking ice in the Arctic may have opened up a passage for a 40-foot gray whale to make its way from the northern Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic off of Nantucket. Photographer Orla, who worked for the New England Aquarium, spotted a gray whale which was extinct in this area for over 200 years. Many were amazed to see this majestic animal. Now let's wish our patients happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mariana March, Lakaira Monestein, Nakaya Moore, Kenyon Ward, Sebastian Cruz Calero, and Elijah Paul. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Alaya. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Merkel, Miss Cavalita, and Miss Silvera for getting the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was roughly how many miles per hour does the Earth spin? The correct answer was 1,000 miles per hour. Today's daily challenge is daily challenge. How many hearts does a worm have? Teachers, please send your answer to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a magnificent Monday. Have a great day!